Howdy y'all, I'm Ice Gold, and today, something that's pretty important in Wizard 101, especially in the early game, is training points and how you spend them. There, not every school <laughs> really has a spell that you want to go get, but a lot of them do, so I figured I may as well cover it today. Uh, it can be very useful to have some of these in the early game, especially for like farming and all that, but... I'll get to that in a second, so I guess I guess let's go ahead and start. So fire is an overtime school, and you don't really need anything from it uh, in the early game. There are some interesting spells like you know glacial shield if you're having a tough time with a boss or whatever, but uh, treasure cards of this exist, so <laughs> it's not exactly imperative. Um, but a lot of fire's best spells like backdraft. Uh, you know, smoke screen, choke, for example. Those are all spells that are exclusive to fire, or you just need a treasure card for. So there's no real point in training fire spells. If you're a new player, I would say just skip out on fire uh, as a, I guess, quote unquote, secondary school. And just a quick disclaimer. None of these schools you should be focusing on as a secondary, because you, unless you're doing some kind of advanced content or PvP, something like that, you will not need to worry about uh, dual schooling. Uh, so just stick with the one you've got and don't worry about anything else in terms of like hitting or not. This is all, this video is purely meant to discuss utility, and Fire just does not have any utility. Uh, that is worth getting from the trainers. So ice is kind of the same way. Uh, it does have useful utility in the spell Tower Shield, but as you can see by the fact that I haven't trained it, <laughs> it's not necessarily a requirement to have. Tower Shield is a good spell. You know, like it's it's uh, minus 50% to the next incoming damage spell. It's pretty good, uh, but you don't necessarily have to have it, uh, because, you know, as you saw, you can get treasure cards of it pretty easily, so, so yeah, you don't really need anything from ice, but if you're late game, you know, and you want to pack towers in main deck for something, uh, I would recommend just uh, learning tower shield, because it's only one, two, three, four, five training points into ice, and you can get something like 60, I want to say in total at level 160 so if you want it you can get it but it's not necessarily required and if you're a new player I don't think I would worry about it so storm is in the same boat as fire uh, where it's just a damage school and you don't really need anything like that um, I don't even know what storm spells I have <laughs> or I don't even know why I have this. Huh. No, I guess that's just more proof I need a training point buyback. Anyway, uh, you don't need any of these. This can be nice. Actually, I do know why I have storm spells now. <laughs> uh, this can be nice if you are supporting a storm, which in some forms of advanced content like raids, uh, that can be good, you know. But again, it's uh, <laughs> it's sort of an advanced content only type deal. You don't you don't need this for just PVE and uh, not advanced content. So Storm is another one that you skip out on, uh, but I would recommend still having the training points just in case you get a support role in a raid. Myth is yet again another school that you shouldn't worry about training uh, spells from. I do actually have quite a few um, <laughs> myth spells because I dual school with it in PvP, but you realistically don't need any of these. Um, you won't find yourself supporting a myth that often with uh, just the myth trap, so yeah, if you're a new player, I would say just avoid myth, but if you do want to dual school with it and advance content, I would say go for it. The life school has been in an interesting spot for most of this game's history. Uh, the spell Seder, which you can train uh, from either Xander or Melinda Wu, heals for a considerable amount for just four pips. Uh, and 
within the last year, Arch Mastery got added. So if you use Life Pips, for example, uh, you can use Power Pips with Life Spells. So if you need to heal, um, which you usually don't, but in the early game, you know, you might, uh, you could train Seder if you wanted to pack him in main. However, let's see if I have any. Uh, <laughs> but Seder TCs, uh, I do not have any, but uh, they heal for 990, <laughs> which is considerably more than the 860 that you saw on the base. So I would say life is another one that you don't need to put points into, but it can be nice if you are just in need of a heal, and you could just have one around just to use uh, with life power pips. So still skip out on it uh, in the early game because of what I'm about to go into. <laughs> uh, like Seder, Seder's useful in certain situations, but you want to ideally save the training points for this next school. Veterans know this was going to happen. Uh, <laughs> The death school is just without a doubt, no arguments are able to be made <laughs> against training it up to faint, which I have already. So this spell, <laughs> as you can see, uh, it's not allowed in advanced content, but it's a staple all throughout the game. And you unlock this at level 26, which is seven training points. Uh, in the death school so it is a lot and you're probably gonna have to use most of the training points that you get um, by the time you hit level 25 on it so what you want to do if you're making a new character is you want to beeline straight for the spell um, and that means you're gonna have to train all of these which again you know uh, six spells come before it but it is well worth it because having a plus 70% trap before you're level 30 is unbelievably powerful. Uh, especially when you consider that you can stack it with treasure card feints, which I don't have <laughs> on me right now. But uh, these stack with treasure card feints and uh, pet card feints, which I don't have. <laughs> but uh, if you have uh, feints down here, if one of them comes from your pet and another one comes from your amulet, for example, you can stack four feints if you have the base version. And that is four 70% multipliers. You don't need to be Einstein to know how good that is, <laughs> especially in this game. Death, it's, it's, very, it's very useful, and I would recommend doing it uh, just as soon as you possibly can, because um, feint is just so, so, so good. So balance is an interesting one. Um, you could theoretically train in it up until you get the spell weakness, but as I'm sure you guessed by now, these exist and they're 5% better, so <laughs> this is your best bet if you want to use this spell. Uh, you can just draw it from side when you're in a, uh, when you're in a battle and you'll be good. <laughs> um, otherwise, I do have all this stuff trained. Um, if you are doing advanced content, I would recommend, or if like a raid support role, that type of deal, I would recommend training these tri traps. They can be good uh, for supporting a hitter or buffing up your gambits, depending on what you have. So these are good. Uh, and then also the tri blades, which you can get from Niles out in the Crocus Sphinx. Um, this is like it's it's very obviously good if you're not storm or fire i recommend getting both elemental and spirit blades uh because you can stack your own tri blade with your other tri or other blade rather uh so if i were to use a fire blade this would stack on top of it so i would have this 35 blade and this 35 blade which is really useful and then uh, you can also support schools from the other side of the tri-blade. Like, for example, if I am a death wizard and I'm trying to support a fire hitter, I could elemental blade the fire hitter. It's, it's good to have those because you do get a lot of excess training points 
So it is good to use one on that, just so you can be a more effective support, especially when you get into places like Darkmoor or you know House of Scales down there. Um, so yeah, it's it's really really good to just be able to support your team better, especially because when it comes to stacking these, uh, the main the main deck version exists, and then. Uh, the treasure card versions also exist, so having having both to be able to stack is so 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 good, and I would absolutely recommend getting your Triblade spells from Niles here in the Crocus Sphinx as soon as you hit level 25. Although I will say you are going to have to use one training point on your corresponding Tri Trap so you can train the blade. Um, but it's it's still well worth it. Two training points is within the margin uh, at level 25 because you still want to get faint at 26. Um, so if if you've done all the Zeke quests so far, you can still get the Triblade and faint before you head to Mount Olympus, which is really 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 good. Okay, so I tried recording this a moment ago, but I yapped for five minutes about nothing. So here are the spells that you need to train from the Sun, Moon, and Star School spells. Uh, spoiler alert, you don't need anything from Moon. Moon is useless. Moon is polymorphs. You don't need those. But for Sun, you want all of the Fist Enchants, uh, and they come in a chronological order. So you got to do Strong, then Giant, then Monstrous, then Gargantuan, then Colossal, then Epic. You have to do a quest for Colossal, but it's cool. Um... You also have to do a quest to get Berserk, which you need to get Frenzy, uh, and Frenzy is really good. Frenzy is a staple at max in you know mob decks and all that. Um, and then in Azteca, you need to get Sharpen Blade and Potent Trap because uh, these stack. Enchanting your blades and traps with these will make them stack with other blades and traps that uh, that you cast. So. These are really, really helpful. Uh, they can allow you to maximize your damage output and allow you to buff many more times. So, yeah, uh, that's all you really need from Astral. So while Astral Magic is extremely, extremely useful, Shadow Magic, not so much. Uh, <laughs> the damage schools being Fire, Myth, and Storm all get Shadow Shrike by default uh, from the Chrysalis quest in the Eclipse Tower. Um, and this is all high-level stuff. <laughs> so, like, like, I'm talking level 90 to 100, so if you're not there yet, don't worry about this. But uh, if you are not a damage school, if you are Balance, Ice, Death, or Life, I would recommend training Shadow Shrike, either from Velma here or from Sophia Darkside in the Eclipse Tower after you unlock Shadow Magic, uh, because this can be really, really good, because it gives you an extra 50% pierce, and it is so nice to have that <laughs> in uh, some uh, boss fights and all that, where they have a ton of health and resist, and they spam a bunch of shields, it can be nice to have this. Um, it also helps you just pierce through resist, so if you're not planning to use your shads uh, when you're in a fight and you don't want to use like a prism for example then you can just get away with using strike and just pierce through all of their resist if your pierce stat is good enough to cover up the difference if there is one so shadow's not important um these are also really not important they are not good at all <laughs> so don't worry about these strike is all you need from shadow uh, i would highly recommend using a training point to get this if you are not firestorm or myth well, that is going to wrap it up. Um, just a <laughs> too long, didn't watch. Uh, train Death to Faint as quickly as you possibly can uh, when you make a new character, as that is a staple to have. Uh, and then also get your Triblade from Niles out in the Crocus Sphinx. So that's a total of nine training points if you are not Death or Balance. Uh, if you're Balance, it's just seven for Faint, and then if you're Death, it's just two for the uh, try trap and blade so for everybody else it's nine and you can get those from 
doing Zeke quests and just by leveling up. Uh, I think you get six, maybe, six or seven, something like that, um, just by questing. So you already have a guaranteed feint, but getting the Triblade, uh, you'll want to do the Zeke quests in Wizard City and Quarkatopia, and it's pretty easy. So, yep, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, y'all.